And now for our advanced battery monitoring app, we click on our JLG mobile control app. From here, we have two choices, our battery monitoring or our remote scissor drive. We're gonna choose our battery monitoring icon. I have installed our smart charger and our Bluetooth, mobile control Bluetooth module on three machines behind me, our R1932, our R2632, and our R3246. So all three of these machines are in my fleet screen within the app. You can have hundreds of machines show up in your app though. So from this screen, on the left hand side, you will see a yellow triangle. This is telling you that there are active alerts on your machine and those alerts include battery, charger, and machine um, alert information. In the middle, that's your battery information, model, and asset ID information. And when we go into the equipment page, I'll show you a little bit more about that and how you can change that information. On the right-hand side, you see the battery icon. This is showing you at the level, at what level the battery is charged, and you have your state of charge percentage. That icon that shows you plugged in is actually showing you just that, that your machine is plugged in and whether or not it's um, actively charging. I have options to filter my machines from here. I can either click on requires attention and service those machines at that time before sending them out for rent, or I can select which model I prefer to look at. Say I'm getting ready to rent out the R3246, so I just wanna focus on those machines. And for this demonstration, I'm gonna click into this machine right now. So from this screen, I'm on the machine information screen. In order to see more information about the machine, I was gonna click on that show more tab. From a service perspective, this allows our technicians to troubleshoot a machine with battery, with now having more battery information. I'm also seeing in the middle of the screen, the state of charge of that battery. I'm also seeing that the battery is not plugged in. And what I'm showing is the latest cycle, which is our current cycle that we're on. So once the machine is plugged in and then unplugged, that's considered one cycle. So right now it's showing you the machine um, has been unplugged. So this is part of its current cycle. This app does update every three minutes. So it is up to date information that you're getting. I can click on the last five cycles to see battery history, depletion tracking, things like that, just to help me to make more informed decisions about that machine as well as my users who are operating the machine and if it's being charged and when it's being charged. So from here, I actually have 11 different parameters of data that I can see, but those are, those are showing the last five cycles prior to the latest cycle. So from the battery fluid screen, I will click on the water drop. I can put in the date that I added water to the battery and the algorithm that we have developed and implemented into the mobile control module is actually going to do calculations that provide me with accurate or estimated fluid tracking information. And that concludes our advanced battery monitoring demonstration.